The horror. The inexcusable horror. Or there's this level. <laughs> I didn't know how to start this. Uh, this was actually so far the easiest level, but I think it's because I was being extremely meticulous with uh, searching for things. Password is pet. Oh, jeez. Gotta remember to turn my volume down. The Chum Bucket, where you can go and meet friends. It's like a bucket of friends, like a pal of camaraderie. The Chum Bucket is crawling with guards and crabs and syphilis. How are we going to shut down that jellyfish sting extractor? Call the health inspector. He will shut it down immediately. Using my Neutronic Sizifier, 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 I think is what they want to go with there, but I like the sound of Sizifier. In fact, this weekend, while I'm at Gen Con, if I get a chance to name one of my characters, I'm going to name him Sizifier. It's kind of like Xavier, but Sizifier. We can shrink ourselves and sneak inside. It's a bucket! You know what you could do? You could stick your foot in it and crush everything. It's a bucket. It's the size of a bucket. You could reach down, pull it off the bottom of the ocean, and throw it in a trash compactor. Who cares? Um, I'm hoping that was the last thing. You know what? Let's find out. I think there was one more bit of dialogue there that I missed. Okay. Click, 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 click. Oh, nope, that was it. All right, so we'll keep our same characters from last time. And uh, we will show you one of the coolest things that I found out about this game so far. Head on up here. I'm also trying a different recording uh, setup right now. Not like any changes in the recording itself. Uh, the recording software, I never go in there and mess with the settings. <laughs> I will never touch the settings because who knows what will happen. Uh, instead, what I have messed with is the size of the window. Click. Ooh. And uh, before I was recording on four times size, and those usually led to giant several kilobyte files. All right, now we got to use Jimmy. Oop. The game here lets you pick. It's like, here's a Jimmy Neutron uh, rocket pack, and here's a Timmy Turner balloon set. Whoever you feel wants to fly up to the top. Anything up here? No. Hit the button. Um... So now what I've done is I've halved the size of the window. It means it's more difficult for me because I'm looking at a smaller screen. And, uh... Ugh. I don't like looking at a smaller screen. Alright, let's see. Head on up there. Shh. Nope, there is nothing. That was... Oh, come on. Where... I want my thing to reappear. I thought those things regenerated. Get back in front, SpongeBob. Ooh. Apparently this just blocks you from moving. And via use of invisible walls, it won't let you through. Okay, so... Up to the top, Jimmy. Get up there. Ooh, whoa, just enough ba uh, battery power. Just enough power to get to the top. And you can't kill anything. So you're kind of useless. Can I jump on the front? No, I can't, and in fact, it hurts me. Perfect. This is how I wanted this to happen. Turn off the fan, but... What's on this side? Nothing. Okay, head down. Switch characters. I'm leading with you because you're my damage sponge. Oh! Dump dump. That's right. I went there. Anything over here? No. Nothing. Nothing at all. This is a weird world in which hamburger patties uh, float. What hit me? Nothing touched me. Get over here. Come on. Die. 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 Perfect. Now, this is what I discovered. If you switch to Jimmy... His freeze beam shots, which can't kill anything else, destroy enemies that come out of here in one shot. Which means no more worrying, you know, waiting and sitting there for a couple seconds each time and then having to hit everything that comes out three and four times to kill it. With uh, Jimmy, you can just immediately, and with extreme prejudice, destroy it in just a few shots. Which works out well. Now that I know that, uh, Jimmy might be seeing a little bit more screen time. Ah! These things! Oh my gosh, these things. There we go. They are terrible. They are... You would think that this game ran on quarters based on how many times, uh, how much of a jerk these enemies are. There we go. 
first of all, they shoot you, like, immediately. Second, they shoot, like, a million times a second. Third, they take five hits to kill. Was there anything over here? There was a heart. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up Jimmy. Um, yeah, so five hits. They shoot a constant stream of attacks. They're just pains in the butt. Click. And certain of them, um have like metal heads where they look kind of like robots which i assume is the way they're supposed to look uh ah punk right. see like that he changed sprite just between me walking to one side of the screen or maybe he uh <laughs> he's like oh crap intruders i better go get my helmet on there we go anything up here no nothing yet so yeah those guys they're so fast on the draw they're so quick to attack you that it's sort of like the game is just hitting you for no good reason. It's just like, I have decided that you will be damaged here. And, uh, so you shall be. Click. Sezafir. Who are you who risks his life for the peasants of this village? I am Sir Sezafir. Ooh, look at that. See? I'm on the other side of the wall and he's still attacking me. Also, ketchup is a deadly weapon. Um, you would think that SpongeBob would not be able to eat a single Krabby Patty if ketchup dealt such terrible, terrible damage to him. But who knows? Maybe it stains him. Maybe stains are like... Ah! Get up here. Okay, switch to Jimmy. There. Freeze him and shoot with prejudice. Finally. Okay, there's one over there that I have to get. Obviously, someone needs to stand here. Click. Come back. So, we're going to make our way through here. Uh Oh, see, look at that. I jump down behind him, shoot immediately, and he's able to turn around and get off a shot uh, before I freeze him. So that's... Ah! That's the kind of thing I'm talking about in this section of the game. It is not even funny how quickly they are uh, aiming to destroy you. Okay, I already know where all of the nanochips are because we saw a nanochip through the wall on this side. There we go. Ah, that's right, five shots, not four. Jeez, ah! Gotcha. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know who to lead with. I lead with my damage sponge, because I need Jimmy to kind of stay alive. Oh, wait a minute. That's up on the other side of this rope. Okay, so I have to go through that door, which is not open at present. Let's head through here. Ow. I think it would be nice if uh, the game featured greater use of a particular character in their stage. Cons I mean, two of them unfortunately have identical abilities. Uh, well, not exactly identical, but functionally they do the same thing. And I really wish I could have brought uh, Jimmy down here. Use my awesome uh, jellyfish freezing skills. But yeah, if they had uh, made it so that you had to use each one in his stage more often. Um, Danny Phantom could have had a lot of Danny walls. This stage could have a lot of the uh, sections where you walk underneath like that. Come here. Come on. There we go. And uh, Jimmy and Timmy stages could have a lot of places where you needed to go up. Now obviously you want to have it so that the other characters are used in other people's stages too. I just think it would be cool if the main focus for each stage was on its own character. Alright, grab that. And... Edge our way forward. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, whoa, totally missed. Get down there. <laughs> Get Jimmy back. Dang it! Look at how much damage I just took. Did you see that? Alright. <laughs> nope. There we go. Four, five. Perfect. Okay, switch back. Because there's a guy there. I knew it. And he still got off a shot in time. That jerk face. Switch to Jimmy because he owns these things. It's a simple matter of... Oh, wait. That doesn't sound like Jimmy at all. Jimmy is not a pretentious... Well, actually, he is kind of pretentious. But he has more of a childhood uh, pretentiousness to him than a slightly British pretentiousness. It's a simple matter of reversing the flux capacitors. Obviously. I mean, durr. Bonk, 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 bonk. They look kind of like ice cream cones. Like, terrible, terrible ice... Oh, wait, I've killed everything. Sweet, I'm at four of four and three of three. 
So now my job is just to rush blindly towards the exit. Ah, there's just, like, no avoiding these guys. You have to know they're coming. You have to, like, inch forward on the screen. Know exactly where they are. Urgh! There we go. See, like, can I look down? You can hold down and get a little bit of a view, but I can't see anybody. Alright, nobody's there. And still don't see anybody, which is good. Preemptory shot! Nope. Oh! Ah! Dang it! There was something there. Kill! Kill! Murder, death, kill! I think it would be smart for those guys, if I was one of those robo-planktons, I would sit in the back and uh, have a bunch of jellyfish in front of me. Oh! Jerk move! Guy right at the end to kill you immediately before you get... Two guys! That's like a double jerk move. That's like jerk squared. And normally I would leave off here, but it's a boss fight next, so we're going to take the boss on. Password? Mermaid. Plankton! Hooray! We've defeated all of Plankton's henchmen! Let's use Jimmy's Cizafier, Cizafier to revert back to normal size, which you should have done in the first place and just smashed him into paste! But guess who else got caught in the Cizafier <laughs> beam? That's my... my every villain sounds like this. That's my every villain is Lemons. The power! The absolute power! Make my monster grow! And we are going to use Timmy. Why Timmy? Uh, because... Ah! He does the big bad voodoo daddy shots. Okay. Poof! Which kills everything in like one hit. Which is perfect for my purposes. Poof! There we go. Uh, I did beat this boss because I wanted to make sure I knew how, like, what was going to happen. And basically, each time you hit him a couple times, uh, he jumps a away from you. Boom! And, uh, releases the thugfish. And that's one of the reasons why I couldn't use Jimmy, because Jimmy doesn't believe in thugfish. And, uh, each time he releases thugfish, there's, like, an extra one per side. So you... First there's two thugfish, then there's uh, four thugfish, then there's six thugfish. And then if I remember correctly, at this point, he doesn't disappear in thugfish anymore. He just jumps around like an idiot. And uh, you go ahead and own him with your magic powers. Boom! One more. Boom! No, I guess more than that. Are you dead yet? There we go, now you're dead. I magicked you to death. Barnacles! We defeated Plankton! You shouldn't call people barnacles. That's very rude. But he managed to escape. If you would have just crushed him like I told you at the beginning. At least the jellyfish are safe. Which, why do we care about this? What purpose do jellyfish serve humankind? I'm sure there's some somewhere. They're probably like the ants of the ocean, where they kind of eat stuff that we don't care about. But on the other hand, they're terror at beaches. To Dimsdale! We're not finished yet! I love Dimsdale. That means we're going to have Jimmy Neutron stage last. Oy vey. Save state. Until next time. Bye-bye.